Hello, my name is Lucas. This is a bit of lit, and I'm here to talk about Barn Burning by William Faulkner for Faulkner in August 2021. It is a short story I've read for the second time now. The first time I read it, I read it in college. I absolutely did not understand it back then. And, um, I mean, I got it. I feel like, as always with Faulkner, um, usually you have to reread it like a hundred thousand times to make sense of anything he said. <laughs> um, but, well, not so much with Sanctuary. That's pretty straightforward, actually, but, uh, just not a good book, unfortunately. Um, anyway, this short story, uh, while I was reading, I think what was tripping me up was, um, because it's in, how do you say that? Yaka, Yaknapatafa? Yakapanapwa. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. That county of his, um, that's so popular. I found a website that actually, uh, it's like a, it's the digital Yakapanapwa project. Uh, it has something to do with uh, the University of Virginia or something like that. Um, and they keep track. It's kind of amazing. It has a map, a really detailed map, uh, uh, and and character descriptions and shows when they show up in uh, different books. And uh, there's a website on the college website that has that is the sort of host for this project that will show you events for books through a timeline or you know what chapter is doing what and what time is it talking about uh that's kind of amazing and at the same time as i was i wasn't looking at it for this story but i just wanted to talk about it because i was thinking about it um uh, just now because i saw it la i found it last week um and <laughs> we're not even talking about barn burning here but we're talking about the website um you know, the way he transitions through time. I think I found it after I read A Rose for Emily. Um, because I recognized the name Sartorius, I believe. Which, again, appears in um, this short story. And it kind of has a, an important point. Because at the beginning of the story, we have a young Sardi, um, a judge, uh, makes a point. Uh, his Well, his father is... Um, not a very nice guy. Not the judge's father, but Sardi's father. Not a very nice guy at all. Um, not just... Man. He is... A tough guy to love. We'll put it that way. Uh, he causes his family all kinds of... All kinds of trouble. Because he... He's made them move many times. With his own sense of justice. Burning barns of the wealthy. <laughs> or the rich at least. Um, anyway, uh, to make the point I wanted to make about the website when, it, you, when you go through that time loop thing, uh, why is everything such a puzzle with Faulkner? I mean, I guess it adds to the majesty for some people. And it's not that I dislike this kind of thing in, in writing, but why? <laughs> I think I was looking at... Uh, uh, maybe the book for, uh, maybe the timeline for Absalom, Absalom, or Go Down Moses or something. I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, what was really tripping me up with this story, uh, before we get to actually talking about it, <laughs> um, was the mentioning of all these characters, or names at least, these common names, which... You know, I names passed down through generation, but uh, the Snopes family, who I don't actually know, I haven't really read anything, but I ha I think I've seen them appear before. And Sartorius, I saw it. A uh, Sartorius, he was the mayor, uh, in a Rose for Emily when she was young, or uh, when her father was around, and he gave the money, and he was like a good, honest, well-respected man. And the judge says to young Sardi, "Oh well, you can't lie," you know, something like that. And I think, you know, that's got to say something <laughs> about young Sardi, who is uh, told by his father after this hearing that uh, he needs to stick with family because family is uh, seemingly more important than the law. <laughs> um, 
his father is uh, just, uh, he really does look out for his family, despite the fact that he's doing things that force his family to move out. He's very, uh, what is that Faulkner um, thing? Uh, something about contradiction of the heart. I don't know <laughs> that Faulkner quote. Um, anyway, uh, so Sardi's dad is uh, at a trial, or uh, talking to a judge, and uh, you know, for doing some things he shouldn't have been doing, probably, possibly, maybe, who knows, okay? Uh, and yeah, he definitely did it, okay? Uh, <laughs> what is going on? What is life? I don't know. I always feel very confused when I read these stories. Um, anyway, after this meeting, uh, is when he has the talk with his son. You know, he's becoming a man, and he's um, he's got to stick to blood and, and this kind of thing, which plays an important role, uh, because we're going to see that Sardi uh, makes his choice and takes his first steps into manhood, and it is not uh, the choice that it seems like it might be going, I guess, if, if he were to listen to this terrifying male figure in his life. Um, anyway, um, his father gets a, a little look-see at Major de Spain, who again is another character that, that has appeared. I think uh, I actually did look this up on, on that website I talked about. There are two Major de Spains. Um, there's the father and the son. And I think this is the father, um, from what I read, <laughs> it's not really clear, and I don't know, but uh, that's something that's really starting to confuse me now that I've read more than two Faulkners, <laughs> or one Faulkner. Uh, these names keep appearing, and everything is connected, and history is a mixture of confusion and chaos. Um, Anyway, uh, uh, what was it talking about? Snopes, he uh, gets his foot ready to make a big mess, and then he has to make clean up the mess. Um, and he uses lie and just makes his thing worse. And he's, you know, got to pay the price. Uh, 20 bushels, or is it 10? Um, and at the end, he decides that he's going to uh, sort of get revenge on the rich Major de Spain. And wouldn't you know it? Sardi makes a choice. Uh, in a way, I guess it's a bit of a buildings roman, right? Because he he's sort of taught a lesson, sort of, uh, and he has to make a choice. And it, it's something that will completely change and impact his life completely in every way because um, uh, you know, he goes running, and let's make it to Spain know what's up. There's uh, gonna be a barn burning, and um, shots are fired. Sardi's out and away listening to the whippoorwills, and, you know, it starts to make sense. <laughs> um, what's going on uh, with this writing, in a way, certainly... Uh, blood and familial ties playing a big role in, in, the, in, a, in a way um, going against that of course and, and we've also got uh, fire that's a very important one here um, sort of a, a transitional not transitional what's the word I'm looking for well fire is destructive right and it destroys things and, and then uh, life can sort of begin anew um, after that, or things can be rebuilt, if it's a barn, I suppose, though that would be expensive. <laughs> um, his stories are always very confusing, <laughs> that's all I can say. Uh, I don't really have too much to say, other than, um, yeah, I just feel like there is, I guess, an interesting element of of the emphasis on fire and, and how things change. Certainly we see a change uh, from uh, uh, this 
burning, destructive man who uh, hits Sardi coldly, uh, without heat, I guess. Um, now I've lost my train of thought. Um, he's going to go start a fire um, to get back at Major de Spain, uh, and his son turns a new leaf, so to speak, and uh, makes a choice, steps into manhood, uh, and it completely changes the family dynamic forever. <laughs> um, uh, and then, of course, that ties into blood, right? Blood being family, and he's supposed to make the choice to you know, respect his family and, and never turn his back on family. But here, it's hard to say he's doing the wrong thing, but uh, perhaps, uh, you know, I mean, I guess if we're thinking from his father's perspective, he's definitely doing the wrong thing. He's betraying his family, but what his family is trying to do is completely destructive and dangerous and harms the family. So, <laughs> um, who's he really helping? Oh, who is he really hurting? Well, he's hurting his father, of course, but... I don't know what I'm going with this. I don't know. I'm looking forward... There is a story I do actually want to read. It has something to do with, um... Clarence... Clarence Snopes. Uh, I will be reading that in a couple of days. And I will, if I have to. I didn't read... I read this, and I, I got a lot more out of it the second time, even though it's been, you know, five, six years... Um, maybe seven? I don't remember. Um, probably I could have, um, reread it, got a little bit more out of it, but I'm okay with it. Um, Faulkner is not someone I am a huge fan of, so I'll just read his stories once, but I'm very interested. I have, I, you know, one thing about Faulkner I do appreciate is that, uh, his characters are incredibly, um, distinct and they have these strong contradictions within them just like Snopes in my opinion uh, oh well um, this father uh, and Sardi certainly he he's a very uh, sort of poignant character and Major Spain too I guess and not so much for him in this one in my opinion um, compared to the other two at least uh, not that he's you know flat or anything but um, Clarence Snopes in Sanctuary easily gross but the most interesting part and i've read on that website i talked about the digital yakmel patawafa whatever it is project um i have the website open over there i can just read it's got a picture of faulkner and a red header or not a red purple header i'll leave a link you'll see it um anyway i read on there that there's a story that's like his rise and uh, it's sort of an inversion of the American dream so I'm interested in reading that I want to like Faulkner I don't really I don't dislike him necessarily there are certain times I dislike him because I think he's just trying to show off and look look see how important and great I am but there are other times I mean I still really like characters you know sometimes he pulls off a sentence that I just think okay <laughs> I will accept your snootiness but um, just because of that and your characters anyway uh, I'm going on too long not a not a major fan of this story it's kind of just okay but again major strength would be the characters uh, the plot I like I like the plot just fine it's simple but yeah, I think it's just his writing style that brings everything down for me. <laughs> like, if he could just write like a human being, um, I might actually thoroughly enjoy his work, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, I've gone on long enough and rambled and not, not really made a lot of sense with what I was saying about barn burning, so peace, see you later.